But yeah, speaking of taglines, since we've got the new season of Real Housewives of New York premiering, I wanted to go through the taglines. We can do a bit of a uh, a power ranking and rating as we usually do. Oh, um, yeah. I'm assuming like that uh, Alistair and Michelle, you have not heard these. You haven't like been spoiled right. on social media. Uh, how about you, Dylan? No. Have you seen these? I've I've not heard them yet. No, I'm going in a, a virgin. I don't even I know what wait. this is about. Do you mean to suggest they haven't made it into the zeitgeist of our modern culture? I'm not surrounded with them every day without knowing it. <laughs> well, that will happen in about oh, an hour. Yeah. Yeah. The, then then comes your baptism. Okay, so we're gonna start with we're gonna start with Aaron. I'm a true New Yorker. The only bull I'll take is by the horns. Uh, Dylan, what do you think? I, I love mixing a metaphor, so it gets points mm-hmm. for that. Um, the the uh, sentiment behind it is a little little weak and obvious, though. I, I give that um, B minus. Yeah, I was I was trying to like think if this is like something to do with like the the bull on Wall Street. I'm not sure what Aaron's like background is, and but yeah, I mm-hmm. I don't know. I'd agree B minus. Uh, Michelle, what do you what do you think of this one? Mm, I don't know who Aaron is, but she said it's a, a woman. yeah. We don't either. either. Wait, does, oh, does... Yeah, that's the great part. We're all kind of outsiders yeah. going into this because this is a total reboot. All new people. Okay, yeah, I, I immediately like I kind of know who Jenny Wall Lyons Street. is, but that's about I it. I thought of the Wall Street thing too. And wait, what's this out of one to ten? Uh, any <laughs> sort of arbitrary like rating you want to want to give it. it? Okay, I give like, it two thumbs four up. Out of, four out of six stars. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair? Oh, man. I, I don't know. I, I'm always uncomfortable with people using the word bull in place of a real curse word. So um, I'm going to give it a C. <laughs> C, C plus. Mm. Okay. You got a click okay. over here. Um, up next, uh, Jenna Lyons tagline is, my lashes may be fake, but I definitely keep it real. Mm. So I get I know that she has a lashes company. That's one thing I do know. So I get that it's referencing yeah. something about her, but it's it's really bad. I think just just saying like it may be fake, but I'm real. Like that's like entry level. That's that's D. Yeah, I I don't know. I actually kind of like this one. I was gonna put it you know at about a B as well. But I I get your take. I um. Me- I just think it's the most basic uh, tagline sentiment. You know? yeah. I feel like that's something I could have written very easily and been like, yeah. Yeah, but you didn't even write one for this, so. (laughs) (laughs) The claws are out. (laughs) I mean, technically, mine was borrowed. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Repurposed. Yeah. So, uh, Michelle, what what was your rating on that one? Uh, Yeah, same as Dylan. It was it was bad. Uh, Alistair. Yeah, I'm disappointed in the lack of confidence it portrays. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think, you know, the show is famous for having people uh, with uh, cosmetic surgery, et cetera, than, like, being sensitive about your lashes is a, uh, belies a, you know, lack of confidence. Yeah, okay, so... Mm. Like, I'm an outlier in scoring this, but the more I think about it, like, you could have a lot of fun with lashes if you wanted to do a play on words with, you know, like, t- getting your lashes. Yeah, like, if she got so, together with the other one... Yeah, I got my lashes yeah. in, something yeah. like that. Okay, I'm, I'm, down, I'm downgrading. I'm, I'm still going to put it out of C, but, yeah, I uh, downgrading from a B there. Um, Bryn's tagline is, I love to laugh, but make me mad, and I'll date your dad. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's a solid I assume plus. there's probably some. Yeah, I, I assume there's probably some like um, maybe something in her, her history about that. Or maybe not. I hope not. Actually, I hope it's just a random <laughs> statement. Um, it's always a cool flex to be like, "I'm gonna fuck your yeah. parent." I think that's a cool flex, and it, and it rhymes. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's a it's a for me. I'll I'll, I'll hold off on the plus, but it, it's solid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm all in. A plus. Yeah. Yeah, this is an A plus for me as well. And I think that she's the housewife that I'm most looking forward to. I think she's got a lot of potentials in like the Who's little this? clips that we see. Bryn? This is uh, Bryn, yeah. Okay. So you don't uh, know any of the characters either, really? No, okay. yeah. You've been going over footage of them in the minor leagues, though, yeah. I think. <laughs> uh, Jessel's is, I always bring the flavor. It's not my fault you don't have any taste. Uh, also, I find it kind of basic, like a pretty obvious uh, metaphor there. I'll give it a C plus. 
but that's as far as I'm gonna oh, go. Okay. To, to me, it says the same thing as the lashes one. I just have so many questions. What is yeah. the flavor? I mean, yeah. most of them. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of them express that same sentiment. It's just like how funnily do you express it for yeah. me that counts, or how or how absurdly you express it. That that's I, I grade very high for like surreal weirdness, and this doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put this at a C as well. I think it's like pretty entry level. It's it's what I would assume someone on the show would would have. Uh, we got we've got Psy. in New York. There's a lot of bad apples. But I'm the baddest of the bunch. Well, that's a problem because apples don't come uh. in bunches. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Oh, they come in bushels. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> if you said he was the baddest of the bushel, I'd get this name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I, I. Yeah. Okay. Apples. Big apples. Sure. Okay. There's. There's. There's that. But it's. It's. It's not reaching very far, is it? It's not reaching very far. And like the. Um, if it's referencing a Cobb's statement, it's referencing like the bad apple, which you know ruins uh, the 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 batch or the bunch or whatever it is. <laughs> um, that that's what that that saying is saying that you, you ruin everything for everybody. Um, it, it's the confidence isn't working for me, and it's the and neither is the metaphor. I'll give it C down the middle C. Yeah, I was going to go with a C as well, but if it is not actually a bunch, like if an apple, a group of apples is not a bunch, I'm going to upgrade it because, you know, I like the confidence of, a producer probably was like, hey, you know that that's wrong and <laughs> still to, to run with it. <laughs> yeah. That does give it some extra, some extra yeah. juice. Yeah. Um, extra apple and uh, <laughs> finally we've got Uba, the secret ingredient darling it's me <laughs> i i kind of like how it sounds like a drag queen from the 70s <laughs> like it's very just straight up uh just flamboyant uh there's like there's no real metaphor <laughs> there's no real no pun. connection to anything it's, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah yeah but uh but i i like that kind of like just like direct flamboyance there's there's a kind of there's a sincerity to it that i appreciate i'll give it Mm, I'll give it a B plus. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of have to believe it, right? Like he just says it, and then you're like, okay, I guess so. It's all, its like Peter Pan. You just got to believe it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You say it's uh, going to be a food fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm—I'm I'm going to put that this at a C as well. I like maybe it's going to be. Yeah, no, this is not going to really grow on me. I think that there's nothing like nothing to this one. So. Uh, even if she gives it like the greatest read, I feel like uh, it's it's middling on me. 